Welcome back to World Beater Wrestling. Today, the short arm scissors. This was requested of me. Uh, just some interesting entries in, interesting counters from there. And look, this is a, a hold that you don't see commonly as much anymore, but I feel like you can use it quite effectively in matches. It's, it's something you can lock on in the middle of a heat. Um, you know, you can really take your time with it. There's a few really uh, cool pins and things that come from it. But essentially, it's, it's a bicep crusher or a bicep slicer. So the pressure is coming down in this position. We need their arm bent over. We need our leg to put pressure on their wrist. And my right arm adds that extra element of pain in that way. So when we end up in the hold, what you'll see is this configuration, feet pointing the same direction, right arm bending the crook of the elbow, and then the back of my knee joint over the wrist. You can lock your feet up in a figure four uh, type way, but that's fine. I don't feel like you have to, as long as you've got that hamstring curl and everything's locked in tight. Now, as for your arm, if you bring your, your forearm in with the cutting blade of your wrist, that can be very painful. If you turn your wrist up, that can be a, a lot nicer and it gives you just a bit more flexibility, more freedom. So uh, for pro wrestling sense, I would suggest maybe keep your wrist up. Uh, if you don't like your partner, turn your wrist in, it's up to you. You can lock your hands as well to add an extra little level to that hold. Now the first way in is probably the easiest way in and this is if they block your arm bar. Remember this is chain wrestling. So someone locks a hold on, you can't get that hold, go somewhere else. So if I'm in this position with the, with the arm bar, first thing everyone's gonna do is lock their hands. Um, that's pro wrestling one-on-one. -on -one. You get put in an arm bar, you lock your hands, you prevent the submission. So usually in this position, I'm, I'm trying to scoop my elbows through, I'm trying to break the hold. If I have my right arm through, and I lock on, lock on this figure four grip, kind of like a double wrist lock, where I've latched my own wrist, I'm hooking his wrist. This is a really good way to enter into it. So I'm here, I can't break the arm bar. What I'm gonna do is, step by step, I'm gonna move my feet and point them towards theirs. So I move my left foot off. They're obviously gonna be stubborn, they're not gonna let go. So I just need to bring my right leg over the top of the wrist. Okay, sometimes that forces them to let go, but you've, you've still got them locked at this point, so it's fine. And then I can now lock my hands up. And already I've got the short arm scissors locked in. So again, arm bar, right arm comes through. Usually you're gonna put it in your pocket. You're trying to break that hold, get that figure four grip, make sure your arm isn't too deep, nice and shallow. Step, don't let go just yet. Step over the top. If their arm comes away because it's painful, that's completely fine. And then finish the hold from here. Second way we're gonna, we're gonna do it, uh, this works really well from a hip toss. So if we're using a hip toss with our right arm, we're always gonna end up in this position. We bring them down here. You'll notice already I'm halfway there. All I need to do is push the wrist in and get my legs in the right position. But a more simplified way is to go from a snap mare or, or more specifically, what I call a three quarter snap mare or an arm mare. So for this one, we're gonna be standing. If we stand up from here, we go arm ringer. And when we go through for that arm ringer, I'm gonna bring my right hand behind the neck. Uh, very similar to a three quarter lock in grappling. But once I'm here, I don't let go of that wrist. I just do a regular snap mare. So step forward with my left foot here. You'll notice straight away, body's in the perfect configuration. My arms aren't quite there yet, but very easy to transition. So what I need to do is first get my body down. If I move the arms into position, it can be very hard without any hands to shuffle your way in. So what I like to do is get my hips and lower base in first. So here, take down, get to this point here. You wanna sit back on your left hip first. So once you're down on your left hip, this now gives you the stability to bend the wrist forward, cover it with your right foot, and finish the hold from there. Plenty of ways out. Uh, they can roll backwards and pin you from there. They can roll backwards and deadlift, back suplex you from there. Uh, so have a play around, um, be as creative as you wish. I think this is a, a very underutilized hold in pro wrestling. <laughs>